Okay, so this is where the cooler is going to be, and it's gonna be an eight foot by 16 foot walk-in cooler. I have laid blue tape all across the perimeter of it, so I could really use it as a guide when I start placing all of the beams and base and all of the framing pieces. Um, but as you could see, I was covering it with the treated wood that eventually is going to be placed on top of this blue tape here. Um, but if you don't know, and if you're also building the cooler, your cooler for the first time, you need treated wood for the base if it's going to be um, touching and making contact with concrete flooring. Luckily, I have concrete flooring and it's going to be directly secured onto the slab. So no worries there. Um, I am going to be framing all of the structure separately and then kind of going into this area and slapping it all into place together once it's standing up. Um, but I wanted to lay some treated wood just flat like this so I could walk in there and see how it would feel once in there and if it was big enough. And it really is big enough. It's really big, actually. It's gonna serve a lot of large weddings, which is amazing, um, both for myself and for whatever other florists within the San Diego area or people that have events here um, have the need for this. So really excited. I am going to get started on framing and these are the tools that I've bought in. And so far, it's kind of overwhelming seeing all of these because many of these I have not used before. Apparently this is a gun that's gonna allow me to secure the base onto the slab and then I'm going to bolt it in. I've done a ton of research that allows me to build this cooler up to code. Um, so I think that all in all, I have all of my bases covered, but some of these tools are stuff that I just haven't used before. And like this nail gun, for example, it's super freaking heavy and I'm sure it's gonna only get heavier once the nails are in here. I wanted to show you guys how I'm measuring the framing studs and the ceiling stud. That way I make sure that the studs in between that form the wall are all lined up. Um, essentially from all of the tutorials I've watched, um, we always want a stud at the start of the base and the top. And then I measure um, 15 and a quarter for the first one. That way it's about 16 inches apart. And um, usually I form a V um, from what I learned. And then I mark an X on the side that the stud is going to be placed. And I do that again for the 32 inch after measuring that out. So after here, I start 16, 32, 48, 64. And then this is my second to last one. So you see the V here and the X has already been formed, but so I can create a straight line through the second stud that's gonna go, um, this treated wood goes at the base and this is gonna be at the ceiling. So I create a straight line through that V and then I usually like to make two different lines on this one because it's just darker and harder to see the pencil and then mark it with an X where the stud is gonna be laid. And then this would be the last one. Um, and it's kind of hard to form a straight line here while I'm holding my phone. Um, but same thing, I would form a straight line here through the V and then I'll do it twice on the darker one and then put an X on the side where the other stud is gonna go.
between each stud and I have one more left to place towards the end here, but I'm not going to place it until I start joining the two eight foot walls that will form the 16 foot wall. <laughs> um, so I am going to put on some safety goggles and start nailing. 